Dear Shamugam Morugesu, I'm really saddened to hear that you have to face the gallows, especially when your elderly mother and teenage sons are crying for you. I hope you don't feel the least bit unworthy of being the human being that you are, though Singapore has a way of frowning on people like you with a deadly scorn for trafficking in cannabis. But seriously, you are but a victim of your time, and dare I say, place. Because if you were born, say, British, that sort of substance doesn't even warrant capital punishment anymore over there these days. Well, look at the humanitarian commotion you have caused. Two organizations here in the Republic named Think Center and Focus have organized an appeal for clemency from the President on your behalf already. I'm sorry I didn't partake in the petition to appeal, because I know what my country's priorities are all about, and it's about making an example of people like you. It's the grand old Singapore thing, I'm afraid. If we give way to you, others will most certainly take advantage. Utmost Kiasuism, fully justified for absolute control and nation-building purposes. Kiasuism, by the way, for those who don't know, is the self-serving neurosis of losing out to others. I don't know where such shameless authoritarian mentality can still thrive in a civilized first world country. So maybe Singapore ain't quite so first world in your eyes, Sean. Well, that's all right. I sure hope you will be reborn in a truer one where there's at least a true religion, a true sense of culture, history, equality, and joy, rather than one sacrificing everything for power, money, and a statistic. Oh, look, Think Center is calling for a moratorium on executions, saying we should all express concern as citizens and residents of Singapore that the death penalty is being used inconsistently with the criteria of absolute necessity and proportionality in relation to drug trafficking cases. It's calling for the government to remove the mandatory capital punishment for simple drug possession. How well positioned and sounded their cause is. You know, Singapore has conceded so much to internet empowerment these days, folks forget that stating a civil right itself is a freedom not to be taken for granted here, let alone acting on it. Think Center can only issue that statement because Big Brother now allows it to. Trust me, it was never allowed in the pre-internet age. Never. But then, now that there's so much blogging on the net, we may as well manufacture dissent. Why do you think the focus group is allowed to issue the catchphrase contention, dissent is democracy? What that means in Singapore is, acceptable dissent is democracy of the Singapore kind. Try some real dissent in your dead meat, Buster. We are all about nation building. Every breath you take, every shit you shit has to be weighed according to that super noble cause. Justified to kingdom come on the account of us being a small and young nation. Justified to the extent that Big Brother has every right to tell you that the one liter of alcohol you bought at the duty free cannot be given away as a gift. Even when you paid for it with your own money. Otherwise, it's a violation of the law. Now that's the extent I'm referring to. Of course, the intentions were just, but because we as people were not supposed to nitpick, so once the inch has gotten, you know, the state takes the mile, the long green mile at its convenience, for nation building good, till we have no clue nor interest what constitutes human right for the preservation of human dignity. What is dignity to Singaporeans? Do they know? Think Center says, the abolition of the death penalty contributes to enhancement of human dignity and progressive development of human rights. I say Singaporeans don't care about human rights and dignity because it's beyond their ability to care. The Amnesty International says, Singapore has the highest execution rate per capita in the world. Our big brother says, that's not a burning issue, not to us, babe. I say we take Big Brother's word for it, unless you want to make life difficult for yourself. Think Center says, when a court wrongly sentences a person to death, the result is irreversible. I say the court here is never wrong. I have implicit faith. I gotta.
I'm Singaporean by birth. You forget there's no free speech in Singapore. So therefore, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Shamugam, you will face the news and you will know fear. So understand how we view life here even without being in your shoes. Therefore, excuse me when I say, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. Oh, by the way, the Focus folks reminded us that anyone who wants to read a poem for the occasion of the Virgil organized for you on the eve of your execution, the full text of the poem has to be submitted to the police for licensing purposes, just as the ID numbers of all attending have to be submitted as well. Still, they'll tell you, we're a free and open country. And you'll be surprised, Sean, to know that the planned venue for the Virgil has already been turned down by the licensing department, and it's an independent art venue, not like it's the Parliament Building or something. Ah, but what do you know? The old Parliament Building is now the new Arts House, so we can never explain enough without looking like we're all nitpicking. So why do I want to look so silly doing all this? Yes, so yes, dissent is democracy, but please understand the qualified dissent for your own good folks. I trust we will all meet again on Judgment Day.